What's up, everyone? It's DV, and I'm back on my all tier Cry Iron King. And of course, I've got some cash on this one, obviously. If you watched my reset video, I actually transferred everything to this account. So this account actually does have some stuff still. It's actually, I'm not going to show you inside this island because it's kind of a secret. It's a secret, and it's just not done yet. And <laughs> my character looks funny standing all stiff like this. I actually have a different animation on my main account. <laughs> it always looks so, it looks so funny standing all like, er, hey, what's up, guys? But I just bought a cactus spike blueprint from a friend. And uh, so we're gonna go and use that and check it out. So let's go ahead and use it. So now we can, oh, I'm eating it. Imagine if people ate books to learn things in real life. Look at that. Imagine if the way we learned math is we went and got a bunch of math books and just like chomp, chomp, yum, yum, yum. Now I can know algebra. Now I know calculus. All right, so I learned it. Oh, that was cool. It showed like a little icon above my head. That was cool. We should slow that down and replay it. So that's what that looks like. That's crazy. Okay, so I need an anvil. Do I have an anvil? I do, I've got an anvil. So let's see what it takes to make this cactus spike thingy. So it only takes 20 cactus. Cactus. So I actually bought some cactus at the same time. Thank you very much, Potato Manager. So I actually got these. Um, so I bought these from Potato Manager for a good price. Um, now, okay, I'm. I know I've been, you know, railing on this dupe issue over and over, but I don't think it should be brushed over. You know, it is a big issue, and we shouldn't take it lightly. But you know, the blueprints got duped heavily, so I actually expected to pay like, you know, maybe like a hundred million for this thing. And of course, you know, when I look at the trading channels, it's like worth, you know, five million or three million. I don't know how much. I, I saw one listing with seven million, but I actually paid. 15 million for this one just so it's fair and then i also um bought some cactus granted the cactus we kind of came with it so <laughs> we're all good there so i'm gonna go ahead and make this and what we're gonna do here in this video i'm actually gonna show you how powerful this weapon is compared to some of the other ones man it's fast <laughs> is it really this fast what the heck do i have a rage blade i don't have a rage blade dude <laughs> why is this thing so fast uh, do I have any other weapons I can use? Hold on. Do I have any other weapons? Okay, let's compare it to this. I guess it's the same speed. Why does it seem really fast? Okay, here's the problem. Now I actually need, I need to do a benchmark. So I actually need to make some other weapons here. Um, Let's see. So I do need a rage blade. Where's my, I don't, I don't have a rage blade blueprint on this account. Oh no. Oh no. That's a rip. So I'm going to have to go buy a rage blade. I'm going to go, so I'm going to go shopping for a moment. Um, I actually have one of these. So I'm going to go and craft one of those because I do want to, you know, measure that. Actually inside. I have a hammer. So, you know, what? actually, I think I have a rage blade inside too. So just a moment, just give me a second here. All right. So apparently I only had a hammer inside. So that's pretty good. I actually have that, I, but I do need that rage blade. So let's go buy one real quick. Maybe I can find someone with it. Let's see if anyone's selling some duped rage blades. I sell rage. Okay. Well, let's just go in here and grab one then. Well, let me have one of your rage blades, please. Let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, that's a cheap spike. <laughs> that's a cheap cactus spike. Um, Yeah, I'll just buy this one real quick too. Okay. So we got what we need now. We got what we need. All right, so I got the weapon. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna make my way out to the slime area and we're gonna test these out. We got a benchmark. Do I have all weapons here though? Let's make sure I have all the weapons. So let's see, I've got, ew, we don't need a pickaxe. So we got the basic one. We got this one. We got rage. Where's my rage? I just bought this. We've got, what am I missing? I'm missing aqua, but I don't really care about the aquamarine. You know, we're not gonna really compare it to the aquamarine sword. I think the aquamarine sword is kind of like a eh, weapon. You know, if you have the iron war ax, I mean, aquamarine's a little bit better. That's it. So I'm not really gonna test or benchmark against that. So so actually, can I just go and make one? Do I have pearls? I might be able to just, yeah, I've got a bunch of, you know, I'll just make one real quick. Let's just make it. Here I'm all excusing myself. All right, so I'm gonna put this in order of strength here. So let's go wooden sword. We're gonna go iron ax. We're gonna go to aqua. And I don't know what the cactus is, so we're gonna try the cactus out last. So we're gonna go hammer. Actually, we'll go rage, because rage is kinda not as good as hammer, but it is. It's actually better than hammer, but we won't talk about that yet. And then let's get this spike in here. So now this is our weapon, you know, and I'm not going to compare to to bows. This bows are excluded, okay? Bows are going to be excluded in this video. I don't really care about bows. All right, so I'm going to head out. All right, so we're going to go over to Slime Palace. Now it's just Slime Island. Okay, again, we always do this benchmark. We like to see what these weapons do in order. So we can hit it a couple times because it is does vary every hit. So sometimes it gets a critical hit or a crit. We call it crits. And you can see I'm doing 10 on average, and then sometimes I get a 15. So that's a crit. So let's go switch over to Iron War Axe and let's see so we had 10 to 15 this one's doing 16 so that is our normal damage here and then our critical hit is going to be what is our critical hit 24 so it goes 16 to 24 so that's pretty good so it goes from the 10 to 15 to 16 to 24 so you're one plus above the critical hit and 24 is actually really really good so now let's go switch over to aquamarine sword and see how this goes and some of these weapons actually have
have better, you know, knockback. And so this one's actually two more damage than the war axe. And you see, it's only three more for criticals. So these two, two and three, like I said, they're almost like, it's just, just slightly better. The thing that I do like about this is that, you know, it's, it's actually really easy to make. All you got to do is get some pearls and get a 200 shards. It's not that hard to make this one. Whereas the war axe actually does require, I think it requires a uh, crystallized iron. And so that does take a little bit longer to grind for sometimes, sometimes, you know, I don't know. They're probably about the same, about the same amount of effort. All right. So now we're going to go switch over to rage blade. So again, the benchmark here was 18 to, what is it? 27 or something like that. Um, 26 or 27. So let's go switch over to rage. And so rage blade is only 15, right? And then the critical hit on this is probably going to be what? Like 25. Let's see. 22. So here's the difference though. And again, I've, I've mentioned this before. If you watched my Rage Blade video, there's something called DPS or damage per second. And this is where this weapon becomes crazy powerful. This is actually better than the hammer because when it heats up, it actually, you know, you actually get like this crazy rapid attack. So it's just simple math. So if this weapon can actually hit two times and within the span of a second, you're actually getting 30 damage per second. So again, 30 damage per second. So let's go over to the Warhammer for a second and you see how he's doing 25 to 37. So if I told you the Rage Blade, you know, on average is hitting two times per second. So let's go over here and heat it up. Maybe heat it up real quick. So once it gets red, it just starts going nuts. See, there's, it's, it's, it's actually really fast. And this is why you can actually, you know, this is why you can actually fly on Buffalo Core because it goes so fast that it doesn't have a chance to really get knocked back. So you're constantly making contact with it. And if you're on top of it, because you're able to knock it back so much, like, look at, like how many, like if I can stay on this thing, it's actually like crazy powerful. So, you know, you could actually do about 30 damage per second on this weapon and then that's not including crits so if the crit is 22 damage or 22.5 you're actually doing 45 damage per second right whereas if you went back to the hammer i'm doing 25 and sometimes i do 37 see what i'm saying now like 37 is cap on this thing but if i was using rage blade i actually have a cap of what is that 40 45 damage it's just better it's a better weapon and you're also knocking back faster so what that means by knocking back faster is you can actually sit here and hit multiple targets so i could just sit here and if i had an auto clicker that could actually click faster than me right now i never have to move look at like you never have to move because you're safe constantly it's just crazy it's a crazy powerful weapon so that's what damage per second means. Like I said, if you can hit more more than once per second, then you got to total that up and then add it together. Like I said, if you're confused, it's just it's just math. Okay, so you just need to know that this weapon here can hit more often than a hammer, and so when you add that up, it can actually do way more damage than a hammer. The key difference, though, here again, like I said, it depends on what you're doing. So like, if you just wanted to get like these killed fast, so you are still doing less hits with the hammer than you are with the rage blade because it is doing more damage every single hit. Whereas this thing, you're going to have to still hit it more often. So if it's like, you know, really hard to make contact, then the hammer becomes more powerful. But if you're going to like AFK farm, you know, something. So like, like if you're going to AFK farm Buffalo Core without like a spell book or something, then you could just basically sit here and auto click. So I'm going to turn my auto clicker on right now. So you can just put pretty much put your um, rage blade in a position where it's going to make contact. I was auto farming the pumpkin, like uh, those little pumpkin like characters from the witch event during Halloween. And this is how I did it. So, and then with the auto clicker, of course, you know, you're going to stay, your weapon's going to stay hot. So it's just going really, really fast. I don't know. I think the Rage Blade is really, really powerful. But what we're here for is the cactus. We were here for the cactus spike. So let's check this cactus spike out. So I don't know what kind of damage. I've never, this is the first time everyone, this is the first time I've ever used this cactus spike because after the duping issue, I just kind of said, you know, I don't really want to play on public. So I didn't really grind for this. And so I didn't get a chance to actually use it. And so I'm really excited to use it. So let's check this out. So let's see what kind of damage it does. 40 damage and 60. Oh my gosh, it is powerful. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Jeez. And you see the knockback's not there though. Look at very little knockback. And I kind of like that sometimes, but there's not very much knockback. It's tiny. Oh, dude, this is crazy though. 40 to 60 goes up to 60 crit. Dude, this is crazy. I didn't know I could do this. Okay. Let's try auto clicker for a bit. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's demolishing everything. And wow. Okay. I didn't realize this weapon was this good and it's really easy to get. Okay. I take that back. It's not really easy to get. You got to actually do a lot. <laughs> Never mind. It's accessible to get is what I'm trying to say. You don't need anything special. You just need 20 cactus. Cactus is easy to farm. Um, the problem is it's, it's time, you know, it's time gated, which is really cool. I like that it's time gated because that means, you know, you can't just go out and get it right away. You actually have to wait for the vendor in the shop to actually spawn stuff. And so that's huge. I think that's a really good move by the game team. I think it makes it 
more fun to get stuff. And that's, I think you can see the direction of the game. That's where they're headed with it. So like with the florist and all that, and I'm about to die. So you can see the knockback is non-existent. So you're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on that. But this is crazy, dude. I love it. Man, I wish I had this on my main account. So I'm still grinding for this on my main account because my main DV account is actually still in hard mode. That's why I'm not with it right now. So I'm very, I'm very strict about that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't let anything get intermixed there. I'm very much a purist when it comes from, when it comes to grinding, I'm very much a purist. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Man, that's cool. I like this weapon. This is really cool. So yeah, I'll, I don't know. I'm going to have to grind for that blueprint, but um, this is really cool. So let's go check out. I actually want to see how it does against Buffalo Core here. Um, let's see. I need some food though, because I'm going to die. Let's eat some pie. That's not enough. That's not enough. I've got a ton of berries though. I'll use the berries. There we go. I'm all healed. Okay. So let's go try some Buffalo Core. This is going to be a little harder than I think usual because the Buffalo Core, you usually rely on like the knockback. How is this? Not too bad, actually. As long as you move and kite them, you know, kiting just basically means giving yourself some space, you know, between you and the, the target. So kiting is basically a technique. I, we used to use kiting a lot in League of Legends. And uh, basically all it means is, you know, you're pretty much just kind of, you know, you're, you're like getting the aggro, right? So, you, you know, you start the aggro and you kind of keep your distance from the target and it just helps you a ton. Oh man, that's cool. That's really fast to kill them. All right, let's go over to Wizard Island real quick. I should have a ton of keys on me. I think I transferred all my keys over. Do I have a bunch of deserts? Yeah, I, have, I only have one desert. Oof. Let's go kill a wizard though. They're pretty weak. Let's go check. Ah, uh, three hits. Okay, it's three hits. I think it's because the title does two hits. They're, they're probably 100 health. They do go down pretty quick. I would say this is not a good weapon for them. I would say title's still best for them, or or at least a spellbook. Spellbook's good too, but I wouldn't use the cactus spike for them. All right, so let's go over and kill some scorps. I do need some more health. Let me heal a bit before I start killing them. Now, these you kind of do rely on a little bit of knockback to keep them away from you too, so this is going to be interesting. This might not be the best weapon for these guys. I mean, at least they don't fly off the cliff. You know, I was so tired of that. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not too bad. I would say this is not a good weapon for Scorps. Just based on that, I would say this is not a good weapon for Scorps. Like, the knockback's non-existent, <laughs> practically. I mean, if you can kite them pretty well, then you'll be fine. But it just requires a lot more active kind of, like, watching and measuring and making sure you're not too close. Yeah, that's a bit wor That's a bit too much for me. So, you know, compare that to, like, a title. Do I have any titles on me? Um, let's, do I have any spell books? I don't have any spell books on me. Compare that, I guess, to Hammer. Let's try Hammer a bit. Com compare this to this guy, you know, or even, like, the Rage Blade. The Rage Blade is a better example because I could pretty much sit this guy here and I'm not, I'm not moving that's the difference between the cactus like the cactus might kill him faster but in the end i'm safe you know so i'm not likely to have to keep healing over and over but yeah the cactus is actually really impressive i'm i'm really impressed with this weapon um i think i i think i like it a lot i think i'm gonna use this a lot more probably for grinding like slimes and stuff especially pink slimes i do need it on my main account um because if i have to grind for more uh pink stickies i'm gonna kind of need that although title's really the best way to go with pink stickies because you could just kind of you know pretty much train an entire group and just destroy them so i don't know i'm, I'm kind of torn on that you know i, I think title is really the best weapon for buffalo core for um pink stickies and uh what else we got um titles great for wizard lizards titles really almost actually i have to say like from a spell book i mean from a ranged weapon titles the way to go but this thing's actually pretty crazy i i'm really impressed like if like maybe if you're on a laggy server this one would be the way to go because the problem is if you're on a laggy server trying to do spell books you're not going to hit anything so definitely cool i like it so most powerful weapon in the game, or at least from a sword perspective. And, uh, you know, outside of that, obviously the title still the king and uh, <laughs> only worth like 20,000 coins is sad. It's so sad that titles got, you know, messed up like that. So I actually have some price guide videos coming up. Like I said, I think I showed you all before that I was working on something like that. And then I also have a special video that's not related to grinding and islands. It's kind of related to islands, but it's not. So that's coming up. And then uh, I'm definitely gonna do some more trollage videos because I can't wait. I love I love doing trolling videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all next time. Peace.